Goku's finally awake. Todd the Rod. You ready to party, QB? Well, at least one of us has the same face. Long time no see, cuz. Where am I? Look around. Take a really good look. It's cousin Kevin's old room in the KAD house. Remember that? Oh. Yeah, the place had been boarded up for years when I bought it. I went through a lot of trouble to recreate this room. Right down to the Einstein poster. I wanted to get it exactly right. Why? What goes around comes around. This is where it all started, Todd. Your defining moment. Zach and I were your wingmen that night, but you were definitely the point man. You zeroed right in on Marty Saybrook, made her your target, made her pay for dissing you. We found her here, sick, half passed out, and we raked her right here on this bed. Who's trapped now, Todd? Who's helpless now? Feel to be at someone else's mercy. Someone who doesn't give a damn about how scared you are, how much you're suffering. So you've gone insane. Oh, you think so? What was your excuse when you pinned Marty to the bed? You help me, you son of a bitch. You're right. How did Nora put it at the trial? Three men trapping an unwilling prey. Only this time it's not three men. It's three women. And you're the unwilling prey. Meet your judge, jury, and executioner. What about my kids? What did you do with them? Relax. They're fine. This isn't about them. What do you want? It's not about what I want. It's what Marty wants. What she deserves. Justice. Right, Marty? If you had had a knife that night, you would have stabbed the life out of him right then. But you couldn't do it, Marty. Because there was no knife. Like there is now. Huh? Your beef is with me, right? Why should you just let them go? This isn't between you and me. This is between you and them. You really don't get it, do you? What you did to Marty? How much you hurt her? Even when that nutcase, Margaret Cochran, did it to you, you never got it through your thick skull. I see. So you killed all those people just to get my attention? Finally, you're starting to understand. The K earring that Lee Halpern was wearing, the A on Wes Granger's tattoo, the D under Blair's fingernail. John McBain figured it out weeks ago. He'd be dead too if it, Officer Saheed hadn't surprised me. Wrong place, wrong time. You were after McBain? And everyone else who hurt Marty. The Halpern woman who betrayed her, that soldier who took advantage of her. Your rabid ex-wife for blaming Marty for what I did. You went after her in that dirty little tabloid, calling her the trash that you are. You had to be made to pay. But somehow you survived. Leave her alone. When has she ever left Marty alone? It wasn't enough going public against Marty. You had to marry John McBain, too. You, you just live to make Marty miserable, don't you, Blair? Well... Not for long. You stay the hell away from her. You were supposed to die that night.
When I placed that D under your manicured fingernail, I could see you were still breathing. Then I heard someone coming. Pal, you hurt her, and I swear to God. She hurt Marty. Well, so did you. You pushed me into it. I didn't want to hurt her. You pushed me into it. You and Zach told me I wasn't a man. You're still not a man, are you? Look at you. Big, tough guy. Threatening women you've got tied up. Shut up. You're afraid to face me alone like a man, aren't you? Shut up. You're a man. You're as weak as you were back then. As weak as you always were. Not anymore. I'm the one holding the knife. Well, then what are you waiting for? You want to kill me? Get it over with. What are you waiting for? Just do it already. Kill me. But you let them go first. You're going to die all right. But I'm not going to be the one to kill you. They are. Much as I'd like to finish you off myself, it's far more fitting the women do it. God knows you've given them all enough reason. Blair, the mother of your children, two of them anyway, she's loved you despite what a son of a bitch you are. And what do you do? You treat her like garbage, you humiliate her, reject her? You don't know what the hell you're talking about, pal. Are you kidding? I've been following your escapades for years. Like your twisted relationship with Miss Delgado here. She made the mistake of loving you. Don't you have anything to say to her? What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, maybe? You tell her you're sorry. Say, I'm sorry. You know that, right? I'm not so sure she does. And Marty for sure doesn't. You could apologize to her every day of her life and it still wouldn't be enough. Marty knows how I feel about her. You mean that crap about you loving her? You bullied Zach and me into raping her, and then all these years later, you rape her again. Is that your idea of love? Oh, pal, this isn't about me. Excuse me? If it isn't about it's you... It's about you. You feel guilty. You killed people so Marty will forgive you. Do you think she feels vindicated? Really? I've proven how sorry I am. I'm giving Marty the chance to even the score. It's what she wants. Well, why don't you let her speak for herself? Actions speak louder than words. Go ahead, Marty. Kill Todd. This is your chance, Marty. Kill Todd. For all the pain he's caused you. This is not what I want, pal. Killing Todd is not justice. What about you? Go to hell. Then you do the honors. You know he deserves it. You all know that. For God's sake, ladies, take your power back. Show him that you'll, you'll never be victimized by him ever again. Now, which one of you has got to be first? I will. You all know Todd deserves to die. For God's sake, ladies, take your power back. Show him that you'll never be victimized again. Now, which one of you wants to go first? I will. What? Hey, don't. She's right, Tess. Stay out of it. Powell's giving us a rare opportunity. 
I'll be damned if I pass it up. You can't be serious. Just watch me. How many times have the two of you said you could kill Todd for this? Huh? Well, I'll do it. I'll kill him. Untie me, give me the knife, and let me put us all out of our misery. Once and for all. You're one hell of an attorney, aren't you? Bloodthirsty. But a cold-blooded killer? I don't know. I do. You think you can kill that snake? After all that he's done to you? You bet I can. She's definitely capable of it. Tay, listen to me. Powell's angry. We've all been traumatized. Don't let yourself get pulled into this. Oh, you mean like you did, Marty? You wanted Todd dead? You tried to get him to commit suicide. You know, it's just a shame you didn't succeed. So just give Taya the knife and let her finish the job. Stop this. Why, Marty? So Todd can continue to destroy people? I think Taya's been abused and used by Todd long enough, don't you? I know I have. I know we all have. He's pulled us all back and I mean, we've all been victims of it. Maybe me, worst of all. Because I got away, but I came back. And I let him into my head. And I let him into my heart. Oh, and there I am, back in bed with him. And the cycle goes on and on. Well, that's what he does. This pig has no respect for women. He just wants to manipulate them. And the stronger the woman, the better. He just wants to break them down. It's the same with everyone, even me. He made me do what I did to you, Marty. Made him feel like a real man. He paid for that. Did he? We don't need to do this. Yes, we do. He hasn't paid for anything. Look at him. <laughs> He's so arrogant. He does whatever he wants. And then he just walks away. And to think that I've been such a big part of letting him get away with what he's gotten away with. It makes me sick. If there's anyone who should make you pay with your life, it's the person who helped you get it back in the first place. Me. Let her do it, pal. Tell you wants to kill me, let her do it. What you've wanted all along anyway, hasn't it? Give Tay the knife. She can get it over with. But then you let them all go. Kill me and let them go. When I'm dead, you let these women go. That's the deal. You're in no position to be making deals. Or haven't you noticed, you smug bastard? Just get it over with, nut job. You too. Blair, Taya. Todd pushes you around, tells you what to do. I understand. He can make people do things they never thought they could. Pal, just give Taya the knife. I did the same thing. That's why I can forgive even you, Blair. Especially for talking to that reporter, saying Marty killed a man when she didn't. You were under Todd's thumb. We've all been there. And Marty... I never want to hurt you, ever again. So this is how it's going to go. Taya gives Marty the justice she deserves. We watch you die, I disappear, and these three women can get their lives back without you in it. What are you waiting for, Powell? Give Taya the knife, do it. How do we know Powell's good for his word? Well, if he's not, then we're all dead anyway, right, pal? We've got nothing else to gamble with. But this is between you and me. Taya's willing to do this. Let's let her do it. I don't think anyone here would hold it against her. No arguments here. Powell. Do it. 
Untie me. I'll kill him right now. All right. This is a gift to be able to send Todd straight to hell. You know that's where you're going, right? Give me the knife. Um, I've been thinking. Um, I have a, a little experience in this. Knives make for messy kills, and, and it doesn't always work. If it did, uh, Blair wouldn't be here now. <laughs> um, but the good thing is, we've got some options. <laughs> I knew if anyone could handle it, you, you'd be the one. So, all you do here is point it at Todd's heart right there and pull the trigger. He doesn't have a heart, but I know where to aim it. This is it, Todd. Finally. Go ahead and do it. You thought you knew me, you're wrong. Uh, looks like I did. <laughs> I, I knew you wouldn't kill Todd. You, you can't. How could you? You worship him. You all do. He poor things. Uh, I, I put a empty clip in the gun. So you bastard. Here, come on. Oh, 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 oh. I'll kill you. Huh? Oh, get back. Now. See, since I'm the uh, one in, in power here, I can promise you that this one is full. Pal, what, what are you going to do with, with the no, gun? Please, don't hurt her. Wow. I didn't know you gave a crap about anyone else but yourself, Todd. Please take the gun off of her. You must really care about her. I do. She's not the one you want to settle a score with. Listen to me, please. You want me to listen? To you? Don't you remember what happened in this room? I told you to let Marty go. You didn't listen to me. I didn't want to hurt her. Well, now you can do the right thing. Let these women go. These women? Your women, right? Let me guess. You care about all of them. Yes. Blair and... Taya and Marty, who you raped. Well, that's that's touching, really, Todd. But I'm curious, um, if you had to pick, which one matters to you the most? What the hell are you doing, bro? It's a simple question. Which woman do you care about the most? Is it Blair? The mother of your children? Or maybe it's Taya. She's had your back legally and otherwise. But who knows? Could be Marty. Look at all that you risked when you took care of her all those months before she knew who she was and who you were. That would kind of fit. That between all these women, you care the most about the woman you raped. So, so come on, Todd. Who is it? Make a choice. There is no choice, pal. What the hell do you want me to say? I want you to say who lives and who dies. Oh my God. Because whoever you do pick lives, and the other two don't. Pal, you're out of your mind. I'm not playing games with these women's lives. You disappointed? You really wanted to hear Todd say he cared about you the most. Well, what about you, Taya? Would have been nice hearing your name, right? Just stop this. I can't. Todd won't choose, so I have to. Don't do this, pal. Unlike him, I have no problem choosing. <sighs> Marty. I could never hurt you again. You know that, don't you? I'm doing this for you. I... <laughs> 
Marty. I don't want to leave you here alone with him, but I have to, just for a while. Now, you two, Blair and Taya, you get over here. Now, Todd, say goodbye. <laughs> okay. Now both of you, move it. Come on, get moving. Just, Hurry up. Sam, why you're bringing us down here? Stop it. Go. In there? No way, no way, no way. You are going to have to kill me out here. Get in there. If we go in there, we are never coming out. It wasn't a suggestion. Now both of you, move it. You killed her! She's not dead. Yet. Party's just getting started. There's nothing. I got nothing. We're just gonna have to wait until Pal gets back. Help me! No! 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 Wait, 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 what is it? What's wrong? Oh my god. Oh, no. Marty, no, 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 I, I know you're scared, but. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. What 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 is it? What is going on? I remember. You remember what? You. I remember you right me, right? Here. You remember? Yes. How much? Music was blaring downstairs. I was there on the bed. I had too much to drink, so I was trying to sleep it off. Then the door opened. We came over to Zach and Carl. They were smiling. Uh, your ass is to leave. Yes. And then Zach grabbed you and started dancing with you. <laughs> 
Dizios, Dizios, Dizios. That was going to be sick, so... Right. I tried to get to a phone line. To... <laughs> you wouldn't let me go. When I found out who you were. I read all about it and Nora told me about it, but I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it because I didn't remember. Because I didn't want to. I don't remember it now. You want me to remember what you did to me? Doesn't seem to have done you any good to block it. No, I'm scared. Well, I can't hurt you again. I mean, if not now, I'm tied up. I'm not, I, I can't hurt you any more than I already have. Now, listen, Marty. If you want your memories back, if you want your life back, maybe this is the best way. I mean, you might as well just go for it. You know? Let it go. Don't fight it. What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you, you shot me, you freak! You think I'm playing games here? Now get inside, the both of you. No way, you're gonna have to kill me before I go in there! Don't tempt me. Please, just listen to him. Please, listen to him. <laughs> if we go in there... There's a very small chance you'll survive. And if we don't, you won't. Uncle, hey, come on! Now, isn't this better than getting shot? You'll find things much more pleasant when you cooperate. <laughs> Spoken like a true rapist. Oh, God, are you trying to get us killed here? No, no, here's one thing. I just, I just don't understand, pal. Okay? You spend your entire adult life going quietly mad with guilt for having raped Marty Saybrook. Yeah. <laughs> and then all these years later, you are doing the exact same thing. This is not the same thing. How is it any different? Huh? You are pointing a gun at two defenseless women getting off on the power and the control. Hey, how is this different? You know how it's different. I'm not... <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not pulling out little pals? Hey, uh, I am not a rapist. <laughs> Why? 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 Because, because Todd told you to do it so it doesn't count? What a cop-out. You could have stopped the whole thing. You could have stopped the whole thing, but you didn't. You didn't, because you're just as much of a rapist as Todd and Zach Rosen were then. Shut up! Would you just listen to him, please? You're a pig, pal lord. Hey, you're up. a pig. You're a rapist Shut and a up. murderer. Shut you are a pig, a rapist, and a murderer! He doesn't mean it! Stay up! And now you're dead. How do y'all like that? You got an hour, tops. I could shoot the both of you, but I'd rather just think about the two of you screaming each other to death for the next hour. You deserve it. you to remember what I did to you, but if you can get all those memories back, the ones I took from you, the, the ones that you missed, and, and maybe those memories are, are, are waiting for you on the other side. And if remembering what I did to you is what helps you break through, then do it. Do it and hate me, I don't care, as long as you get your life back. Fun's just getting started. You threw me on the bed, and you got on top of me. And I told them to lock the door. And they just stood there watching. <laughs> oh, you pin me down. They raped me. Whew, I thought I was going to die. You were so angry. 
because if you had to get my varsity letter, I can't play football this season. I can't play my home. And you, you messed up the Orioles. Come breathe. Oh, my head was pounding. I thought it was... Oh, I was going to pass out. But you didn't. Uh-uh. Because I didn't want to die. Finish. Do you remember what happened then? You were still holding me down. And then you turned to Zach and Powell. Do you remember what I said? You said... All right, Zach. Your turn next. Better run. She's been dying. I thought you were taking care of Todd's kids. What's this? You mean who? Zach stuffed his weapon in my mouth so I couldn't make any noise. Yeah, Todd, man. <laughs> this ought to keep her quiet. So I tried to go to a different place in my head. I looked around the room and I found <laughs> this little stuff lying and I just stayed there. I stayed there and I stayed there and I focused on that and I went back to a place when I was young and I was innocent and I stayed there and then it was... Powell's turn, and I thought maybe he wouldn't. Come on, Powell. Come on, Powell, do it! That's right. That's right, Powell. Go ahead, do it. And then it was over, and I couldn't move. <sighs> That's when Kevin found you, right? And I was so messed up, I thought maybe he was there. I thought maybe he was one of you. So you, so, you, so you went to the police and you pressed charges against all of us. And you went to us. prison and then they ended up pardoning you. Right, for saving your life. <laughs> That's how you justify that in your mind? No, no. Marty, you know you had a good life after what happened. Don't. Don't stop remembering. Come on now, here we are in Kevin's KAD room, obviously for a reason. Powell's guilt drove him insane. He wants, he wants you to suffer for it. He wants me to watch you suffer the way you watched me, the way he had to, but I can't. I can't! Well, don't shut down now. Not now. No. 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 no Why do you want to hear this from me? I want you to remember what happened here, so you can remember what happened after here. I mean, your life... Your life means so much more. You, 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 you're so much more than what happened to you in this room. I know. Do you? Then tell me about it, right? You moved on. Where'd you go next? You went to Ireland, right? You had it out with your aunt. What's her name? Kiki. And what happened to you in Ireland? Who did you meet there? Patrick. That's right, Patrick. The love of your life. Do you remember how much you loved him? Pretend we're lovers. Ten were lovers. That's what he said to me. He grabbed me and he kissed me. And then I played along. But you weren't really pretending, either of you, were you? I'd seen pictures. I'd seen. I couldn't feel them. God, I loved him. God, did I love him. your big mouth shut, can you? You know, this is all your fault. You had volunteered to kill us. I was off. trying to get us out of all this mess. All you did was piss pal off. Well, at least I had a plan. Oh, and it was a great one, wasn't it? Pushing me into pal? Yeah, so you could run off? Until you were leave me with that psycho, weren't you? I was going to get help, yeah. Claire. Right, and when you came back, I'd be dead. But you know, that is you, always looking out for number one, right? You know what? You're lucky I'm not like you. 
<laughs> You're ripping your desire duds to bandage me? Oh, I'm not doing this for you, bitch. I'm doing this. She's like this gas from coming in here. So my children don't wake up tomorrow without a mother. Come on. What are you doing standing there strapped? You got a better idea? Come on, we're gonna have to bandage your arm. This looks bad. Oh, it hurts like hell, but it's not gonna kill. Well, you're not gonna be good to anybody if you're bleeding to death and you don't. Come on, come on, don't make it easy. We need anybody. to get out of here, Blair. Come on, we need to get out of here. There, is that better? Yeah. Get some fresh air. Come on, there's, there's a window right here. Come on, come on. We'll get up there. Come on. How are we gonna get up there? What are you gonna repel? I'm gonna boost you up. Come on, you gotta boost me up. Were you ever a kid or were you just born a lawyer? Come on! Blair, you just got out of the hospital. That maniac nearly stabbed you to death. I've been shot in the arm. You gotta boost me up. I'm there gonna with boost hands. you up. That's all can do, all right? My children are not going to wake up and be orphans. Now get your ass over here and help me! Rebecca, I'm in the middle of something here. I found out something very interesting about this baby. She is the ultimate prize. I don't have time for this. I gotta get back to the two upstairs. I love you, Powell, and I promise you, you're gonna want to hear who this baby really is. I can see how hard this is for you, Marty, but it's it's a good thing. You're remembering everything from your past, good and bad. God gave us memory that we might have roses in December. What? Huh. What was that? It's a poem. Oh, Patrick Wright? No, James Barry. It was from one of his favorite poems. He did read me a poem he wrote once. It was when we were married on Montana Mountain. Ah. Oh. I remember that day. <sighs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember the look on his face when he said, "I do." So much love for him, from him. That's when you went to Ireland. Yeah, we lived in this this old little cottage. It was like a fairy tale. And it wasn't long before I found out that I was pregnant. Mm, that's cool. Yeah. Patrick, I, he was there with me when he was born. He stayed by my side. He held my hand. He... Oh, I'll never forget. And I remember the look on his face when they put our son in his arms for the first time. <laughs> and then he, and he, he, he handed him to me. Oh, God, I can smell it. How Cole smelled after his bath, and then and how he giggled when I kissed his belly. All those precious years I had watching him grow up. Oh, oh, oh I remember my son. I remember my son. Cole grew up so fast; it was like he was taking his first step, and then all of a sudden he's playing lacrosse. And I remember the first time he told me that he loved me. Arms tight around my neck. He could barely get the words out. And you know, he never stopped saying it, even in high school. In fact, that was the last thing I remember him saying before the van crashed. Well, you remember the crash? John got there right away. But Cole had been thrown from the van, and, and so I told him to go after him. And as soon as he was gone, there was an explosion, and then just went black. I remember all of it. Everything you tried to keep from me. You kept my whole world from me. Yes, I did. But you just got it back. 
And no one can take it away from you. Not now. Not me. Or anyone else. Come on, put your foot up. You there. put your foot up there. No, come on. Your arm is hurt. I'm gonna help lift you up. And you probably let me fall anyway, so come on. Come on. Ready? Okay, hold on, hold on. Guess who? Isn't she lovely? Oh my God, pal, what are you doing with Jessica's baby? So much for going out the window. Uh, <laughs> throw something. Break it. Get some air. Great Taya Delgado. Never met a case. She couldn't win. Face it, we're gonna we're gonna die. No. We're no not. Look at that. Look at that. That's gas. Gas seeping into a sealed basement. It's hopeless. We're, no, we're gonna die. No, here. we're not. We're gonna get out of here. <laughs> My law degree. No. <laughs> John. John's gonna find us and he's gonna save us. What are you doing with that baby? Answer her. Well, maybe she's mine. She's not. She's Chloe Brennan. How do you know? Pal, what are you doing? Why do you have Jessica's baby? What? What makes you think this is Jessica's baby? We know what Jessica's baby looks like, pal. Yeah, we both know. Because you've both seen her before, and someone told you to call her Chloe. Yes, that's her name. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Look at that. I can still remember some Shakespeare. You know, being back here on campus again is making What are you babbling about? Scholarly. Well, someone can make up a name. They can make up a whole new identity, but what am I telling you that for? You know all about that. All those months you lived with him, he never told you who he really was. He just told you that he loved you. He told you so much you thought it was the truth. But the truth has always been right here in this room. He raped you. Stop it! What does it have to do with this baby? Someone gave this baby a name. Someone gave her a whole new identity but the truth is right in this room yes okay we heard that before is this the game you want to play her name okay so you don't think it's jessica's baby who do you think she is why don't you tell me can you guess who her real parents are John. <laughs> He's 
gonna save us. Oh, sure. No, he said that John he was close is an to escape killer, isn't there? You yes, really think he's gonna insane. Sure, sure, but with no clues, no witnesses, and no help, you think he's gonna figure out where we are? Yes, I do. <laughs> <sighs> That's stupid because I'm not gonna die like this. I'm not gonna give you any consolation. I never pictured you on my deathbed either. <sighs> You don't get to complain. Excuse me? No, if if you hadn't have defended Todd, he'd be behind bars. <sighs> and this would have happened. That mental patient goes on a murdering rampage and it's my fault. Oh, as if I didn't hate you enough already. <sighs> you know, <laughs> I'm curious about something. I see a scene and say we're going to die in here together I'm not anyway. I'm going to tell you who my hair color is. Besides, We have a lot in common, Mark. No, don't, don't make me pee. It's true. We're both strong, smart women who don't take anything from anybody. I'll give you that. Under different circumstances, we might even be friends. Don't push your luck. That's what I'm talking about. Here we are, about to die. And you're wasting your last breath. Insulting me. What? Why is that, Blair? Huh? Why do you hate me so much? Huh? You're insane, pal. Because I can tell you who this baby really is? I can think of a few other reasons at this point. <clears throat> Why are you so afraid of the truth? We know what the truth is. We know who that baby is. And if you touch one hair on her head, I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. No, 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 I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You're not going to hurt her, right? Why are you so interested in protecting this little girl? I, oh. It's almost like a natural instinct or something. Why do you have her? What are you going to do? You haven't been listening, have you? I don't have to. I know who she is. She's my niece's kid, my sister's granddaughter. That's what you believe. No, that's what I know. And I also know this. If you don't put her down right now, I swear to God. She's not your sister's granddaughter. She's yours. Yours and Marty's. You've got even more screws loose than I thought, pal. My granddaughter died. You sure of that? Are you trying to tell me that Jessica's been lying all the time? Letting my daughter believe her baby died? <laughs> Jessica believes this is her baby. She doesn't have to lie. But neither does DNA. What are you saying? I'm saying this is Cole's baby. And Star's. Enough. I've heard enough. We have to get that baby back to Jessica. <laughs> it's not hers. I don't care! Jessica's probably going out of her mind right now. That's the first thing you got right all night, Manning. My little cousin's going out of her mind, all right. Because the best I can put together is the night she had the baby, it died. What? And one of her other personalities took over, and she traded the dead baby, hers, for this live one. <laughs> your mutual grandchild. They were born the same night. And Todd's crazy little niece decided to take advantage of the situation she's not crazy that's right you were planning a little switch with this baby yourself weren't you trading in your miserable life as a rapist to ride off into the sunset with Marty you don't know anything about that mm, I know I left out the best part you were gonna let your own daughter think that her baby was dead. Looks like you're the one who's insane. Yeah, look who's talking. Yeah, I guess it runs in the family. Victor and Pal Sr. spawned a whole new generation of nuts. It's, it's too bad, though, that we'll never get to know whether this little one got the crazy gene, too. What the hell is that supposed to mean? 
Come on, Blair, no time like the present. I don't know why I hate you so much. <laughs> More than anyone on the planet? <coughs> yeah, the gas is getting to you. I'll give you five million reasons. Five million dollars you took to steal my little girl from me. That's why, huh? That's why. That's why. It was later. In a hospital bed. Yeah. And Todd had no way of knowing if you'd recover. Your baby had no mother. And if Dorian had her say, she'd have no father either. I did what I thought was best for everyone involved. And you. You did what was best for you. Fine. What else? What huh? else? What else? Yeah. What else? As if stealing my daughter wasn't enough. Come on, that's ancient history. Oh. It's like somebody who's never had their child ripped. At least I'm telling the truth. Which is more than I can say for you. I see I've stunned you both speechless. What are you gonna do to her? You don't want anything to happen to this baby? No. I think Star probably felt the same way, but you didn't care about that. Not as long as you could solve all your problems. Start a ready-made family with Marty. Please just leave her alone. This baby was your final chance for redemption, but then she died, and you blamed yourself? We're not talking about me. You lost everything when your daughter lost this baby. But now she's back. It's Some people might say it's miraculous. Almost as much as Todd Manning getting a second chance. What do you want? I want you to redeem yourself. How? Simple. Give this child back to her mother. Are you serious? It'll make everything right. You can put this baby back in your daughter's arms. Here she is, Todd. Should I let you have her? Mm. I think the gas is getting to me because I think I actually heard you accuse me of lying. I did. And I, why I hate you so much, I don't think so. Oh, your kids. That's always your excuse. Oh, I think that's enough, don't you? We children, it's your built-in default answer to everything. I mean, what? Why? Why just save Todd's life? Why? Because he's because he's the father of your children. Why? Why are you staying with him while you recuperate? Because you want to be with your kids. Why are you angry with me? Because I'm sleeping with him. Because you're convinced that somehow that caused you to, to lose custody of them. Again. I think that just about sums it up, oh, Taya. Don't kid, a kidder, Blair. You and I both know the truth. Really? Yeah. Why don't you enlighten me? Okay. I will enlighten you. You're jealous of you? My relationship with Todd. <sighs> untimey. How untimey so I can take her? You didn't really think I was going to give your granddaughter back to you, did you? I thought you wanted me to redeem myself. That's what you thought you were doing, isn't it? Running away with Marty and this baby, your new family, they didn't remember the past. It's like it never happened. But it did happen. Right here in this room. You had the power then. You told me what to do to Marty, and I listened. And I lost everything. My freedom, my sanity, my life, because of you. But now I've got the power, Todd. Right here. In this little girl. Yeah. Just give it to me. She was going to be your salvation, Todd, but she's going to be mine instead. Please don't hurt her. I have the power now, Todd. Oh. Right here in my arms. You're right, pal. I did have all the power back then. You admit it? Yes, and I used it.
to control you, and I ruined your life. So what? You think that's gonna save you? No, nothing can save me now. Just like nothing can save you or Zack. We only did it because of you. Right. So punish me. Do whatever you want to me, but leave that baby alone, please. <laughs> yeah, honey. I don't believe you. What? Not that I don't enjoy hearing you beg, but there's something about the way you're saying it. I just, I don't buy it. Powell? Damn it, don't do this. Don't do it like this. Don't use Marty or Blair or Taya or that child to get back at me. You're right, Todd. I can't save you. Nobody can be saved. But that's not true. Y you saved me. What do you mean? Isn't that what you were trying to do all those years ago, Powell? You were trying to save me? Isn't that what you're trying Stop to do it. right now? Stop it, Marty. This is between Todd and me. I, I know that. I know that. And he made you hurt me back then, but you fixed it now. You fixed it. You saved me. I hurt you. I can't save you. You already did. You already did. I got my memory back, all of it. And it would never have happened without you. Why would I be jealous of your relationship with Todd? Same reason you're jealous of anyone's relationship with Todd. Look at how much you hate Marty. Oh, you have no idea why I hate Marty. Well, I know it's not because she's with John. No, because I'm with John. I am with John. Mm -hmm. And if I were so into Todd, what? Why would I marry John? Well, we both know the answer to that no, question. We don't. Why don't yes, you because me? Uh, well, I'm trying to because he gave you marrying him gave you custody of your children. Okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'll give you that one. Yeah, I'm with John you only think because of my kids. It was my idea. No, wasn't you know, it, I'm not going to give you that. Because I was with John way before we got married. Mm. -hmm. And I care a great deal about that man. Keep telling yourself that. It makes things a lot easier. <coughs> what is that supposed to be? Well, you said it yourself. John, John's going to come save us, Blair, right? Yeah, so? Uh-huh. So, tell me something. Would you rather go home with someone honest, dependable, and trustworthy? Or with the guy who got us into the situation in the first place? I think you're finally catching on. The only problem is, you may have feelings for John, but you don't love him. At least not the same way you love Todd. You can... It's okay, Blair. You can admit it. You still have feelings for Todd. No, I don't. I won't tell anyone. God. We're dying here, we're not just friends. Well, we might as well be, we're both in the same boat. Everything Powell said was true. So what? You wanted to kill Todd. Yeah, the thought did cross my mind once or twice. You wanted to get back at him for all the things that he did to you? No. I just wanted to get him out of my head. You are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> you are correct. He's put me through hell, and I keep coming back for more. Yeah. You want to stop. You just... But I can't. Yeah. This is the truth is. No matter if I'm dead, Todd Manning is was and will always be the love of my life. Mine too. It's true, pal. I remembered everything tonight and it's all because of you. Me? You brought me here, and seeing all of this, it, it triggered something. You remembered what we did to you in this room? Not just that, I remembered everything. My whole life came back to me, all of it. My son, you gave that back to me. 
And for that, I... I thank you. I never meant to hurt you. I know. For so long, I've been wanting to make it up to you. I'd do anything for you. Well, then, anything. Okay. Okay, then. Give me back the baby. Please give me the baby. Powell, listen to me. You want to make it up to me? You want to make it up to me? You can do it right now. You gave me back my life. Let me share it with this baby, please. Let me have the baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know, I know. And it's okay now. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I just take it is for you. No, I no can't. I know you You can't be happy about anything. Not about this. Not about anything. You love Todd. Yeah. So do you. So sue me. Something else. I'm a blonde, a natural blonde. No, I'm serious. I'm serious, Blair. There is something I haven't told anyone else in the world. And if we're gonna die here right now, I need to tell you. Put the knife down, pal. It's over. It'll never be over. No, you ended it. You just did the right thing. Why do you get to decide what's right? But you've made up for everything you did all those years ago. Oh, and you get to run off and live happily ever after with Marty, with your grandchild? No. You don't get to be happy about anything. Not about Marty, not about the baby, nothing! Hell no! You're right. It's over. You don't get to be happy about anything. Not about Marty, not about the baby, nothing! Hell no! You're right. It's over. Sean, oh my god! You okay? I'm fine, thank you. Right. Okay. That's okay. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. <laughs> You okay, man? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. How are you? We're fine. We're fine. Blair. Okay, where are they? This, this is serious. Something I haven't said to another living soul. But if we're going to die here, I need to say it to you. Are you, are you giving me your deathbed confession? <laughs> Do I have a choice? <coughs> the gas is stopping. I can barely breathe. If you're going to say it to me... You better make it quick. Kyle took Blair and Taya. We don't know where. How's the baby? She's fine. She's fine. She's a little upset from the gunshot, I think, but she's going to be just fine. You're good. You're so good. What a good little girl. That's my girl. Who's baby? Uh, Joseph's. Uh, this is Chloe Brennan. Powell kidnapped her, but he, he, said she, he said she's not Jessica's baby. It's okay, sweetie pie. It's okay. Powell said that um, 
that Chloe is, is, is starring Cole's daughter. He said there's proof. It's Scooby, my grandchild, John. When it taught. Cole used to take a long time to calm down after a loud noise, but you are doing so well. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Morning. Something happened tonight, John. I remember everything. Hey, John, give me your phone. You need to call my kids. They were upstairs when all this began. Kids are fine. Star and Cole with them at your place. There's cops outside keeping an eye on everything. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, well, we need to go find Blair and Taya. That smells like gas. Yeah. All right, you should get to the hospital. No, 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 I'm fine. No, you're bleeding, and this yeah. baby needs to be checked no, out. No, listen, don't fight me on this, John, please. Tay and Blair could be in trouble, or worse. Right, but Marty's been through hell. So is this kid, all right? They should be at a hospital. Listen to me. Take Rebecca's car. It's in the driveway. The keys are in it. Yeah, all right. I guess she's not going to need it anymore. What about Tay and Blair? I'll take care of them. Yeah, you better. Let's go. This way. Car's out this way. because I played fast and loose with the rules about cars and babies, so if people are in a hurry, they can pass me. Great. I remember Sam now. I think he was called Tommy when I knew him. Yeah, I changed his name when I got him back. Yeah. I remember how different you were to get him back from Marcy. You're like a jerk. I guess your most recent memories of me aren't so great either. Well, except for those months when you were lying to me about everything. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, if she really is our grandchild, Marcy's gonna want her, just like she wanted Sam. Well, if she's our grandchild, then Star agreed to let Marcy adopt her, so yes. So we're gonna get her back and then lose her to the McBain? Let's just wait until we realize and know for sure if she's Star and Horse Baby, right? Well, so there was a DNA test done. Then that'll sell it. 
Well, what do you think? I mean, in your gut, do you really think she could be our grandchild? I have no idea if she's really starring Cole's baby. Well, whoever she turns out to be, you really did an amazing thing back there, I'll tell you. Powell walked in with her, it was like he'd won a prize or something. Like she was this key to getting back at me for everything I'd done to him. Better than having you guys watch me die. Well, he was very sick. Yeah. I don't know what he'd done to her if you hadn't talked him down. I don't even think about that. I, uh... I have a lot to thank you for. And I guess I, uh... should thank you. I now can remember every sick detail of what you and Zach and Pal did to me. But I have I guess I have to go through that in order to remember everything else. And you walk me through it. I have all my memories back. Because of you. You convinced Powell that he was the one that helped get your memory back. I just told him what he needed to hear. Uh, it worked. Yeah, well, everything I said to Powell was just to get the baby back. But I couldn't lie to him because he would have known, so I doubt I told him the truth. It's just that it was the truth about you. You, uh... Now you pushed me to relive that nightmare and... What happened in that room? Even though you knew it would make me hate you more. And it did. Well, you were right. I had to, uh... I had to go through that hell and get to the other side and... get to all the good things that my life had become. Oh my God, Patrick and Cole. All the things that I was told, but I couldn't feel. <laughs> Isn't it just... It's just a sick joke that I have all that now because of you. Yeah, I remember Cole. I remember Cole. Hey, uh, do you think, uh... Hey, do you think that, uh, that Chloe looks like Star? She, she looks like Star to me. Well, what do you think? I mean, I, I, I think she really could be her grandchild. a massive gas leak coming from the boiler room at the old KAD fraternity house at Landview University. That's right. Yes, listen to me. There are two women unconscious inside. There's a body upstairs. The body of Pal Lordy's been shot dead. Send someone.
You hang in there, all right? You just breathe. I'll be right back. I promise. What did she do that reminded you of Star? I don't know. It was the look on her face or something. It just passed over her features, and there she was. There was Star. So this, this really might be true. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Maybe I just want to... Make yourself feel better? It doesn't matter what I want. Just have to take this one step at a time. First things first. Get her tested. Right. Then we figure everything else out. Yeah, as much as I'd like to tell Star that we found her baby, I don't think we can until we've had her tested, huh? No, you're right. I, I completely agree. Cole couldn't handle losing her again. Oh, my God. Jess must be going out of her mind. With everything that happened, I just wasn't thinking. I mean, just she's, the baby's been missing for hours. She must be going crazy. And I can't believe we don't have a cell phone. All right, well, just hurry up. Just as soon as we get to the hospital, we'll call her. And say what? We found your baby, but she might not be yours? I'm not sure Jess could handle that. Okay, lawyer. Let's get you out of here. someone to take a look at this baby right away. She seems okay, but she was kidnapped. And I'll get I don't the know attending. Okay, and we also we need to schedule a DNA test for her. Thank you. <gasps> Chloe! Chloe? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're okay. You're okay. Oh, my God, my baby. Oh, thank God you're okay. Get out of here, there's a gas leak. 